Hey what's up everyone, my name is Fai and I'm finally back. Today I'm gonna show you my fight with the fire giant. I hope you're gonna enjoy it, I definitely did not expect the ending, I did not expect to win that way. So I'm gonna let you see it and let me know please down in the comments what you think about because I don't know how the heck did I win. So my adventure starts with the church of repose, like everyone else who has died already to the fire giant. Therefore I decided that it is time to record it. And boy, I am happy that I did because I actually got something on camera. <laughs> The ending left me without words, let's just say that. For those who wanna know, that are actually interested, I'm using a cold Chikatana plus 20 on my left hand and Rivers of Blood plus 10 on my right hand. I think it's a pretty good build, I still have to get used to it since I was using the Klaus with Blondhouse step before, but I think I've wasted enough of your time already, let's get into the fight, let's see how I actually managed to beat this thing. Right off the bat, you're gonna notice that I dismounted when he did that attack because dismounting and mounting can give you sometimes some immunity frames if you actually time it right. Yep, definitely got it on my first try trying, not a single hit taken. Nope, not, not at all. By this time I have already died a few times to him, so I knew most of his first phase movements definitely did not got nailed there into the ground. For the entire phase one, I jump, he jumps, I try to hurt his leg, his, his weak spot, his left leg. Uh, <laughs> not his left egg, for fuck's sake, his left egg. I said it again. I am a menace to society, so, so, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this was the phase one. I got hit like a baseball ball, I got roasted, I got pinned to the ground. Only fun times, my torrent has died a few times, and I'm pretty sure that at some point the fireball was debugging me for some reason. I don't know why. Just so you know, in the backstage there was a lot of pain to go through, until I have finally got to phase two. <sighs> This game is not easy. I did not expect to see that in the cutscene. Okay, I get it, he broke his leg. But the following up? It wasn't enough that he was killing me left and right. Now he has my Giko Sharingan. Come on, man. We did it. Phase 2 is here. He has new skills, new attacks. And I wanna just go home because I'm scared. I don't wanna get hit by this thing. Not again. But we all know that this is gonna happen. I don't know why people say in Phase 2 he's harder to beat. But for some reason I found it very easy compared to phase 1. During the phase 2 I had a few close calls, almost defeated him, but if you have played Elden Ring, you know that the game is not gonna let you win so easy. You have to go through some mentally pain before you're actually gonna win the fight. In my defense, that was the first time I actually seen this attack from him, and it caught me off guard, as you can see. Our story must come to an end, and this was the end for this fight. I have finally got him to half HP, and when I did, this happened. I did not expect that, I don't know how that happened. You can see from my reaction that I was really surprised to see that one happening. I don't know what happened and I was trying to figure out why. The game was like, you know what, you have suffered enough. Take this one easy, that's on me boy. Next time, the drinks are on you. So if this happened to you as well, let me know down in the comments. And if you wanna see more Elden Ring content in the future, please like the video and subscribe if you managed to watch the video so far. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay safe tarnished. Wish you the best.